Hi everyone, this is Tom with Integral. Today, we will be building your very first AI agent in AI Studio. Don't worry if you're not an AI specialist yet. AI Studio makes it very easy to build and deploy AI agents with just a few clicks. There will be no coding involved. Before we dive in, let's do a quick refresh of AI Studio and the key components that you will be using to build your first agent. When you first log in, you will land on the home screen where you will find sample agents that you can use out of the box. Below that, you find agents you have been working on. This area might still be empty if you're completely new to Integral, but once we're done with this class, your new agent will show up right there. On the left side, you have the main menu with sections like Agent Studio and the Benchmark tool, which we will be covering in the next video. Today, we will focus on the Agent Studio, which is where you design and customize your agents. We will be creating a simple agent similar to ChatGPT, and you will see just how easy it is to get started. Let's dive in. All right, we're now on the AI Studio home screen. To start creating a new agent, you can click the Create a New Agent button. Alternatively, you can go to Design Agents in Agent Studio. And by default, you will see the last agent you worked on, but you can start creating a new agent by clicking on the Create New Agent button at the top of the screen. You will see that AI Studio automatically sets up a basic agent with three nodes, the input node, the LLM node, and the output node. These nodes are connected by connectors. The three nodes represent the minimal building blocks of an AI agent. The input node lets a user ask a question. The LLM node processes the input and finds a response. And the output node returns that response to the user. First, let's give our agent a name. Go to Agent Settings and name it something like Better Than ChatGPT. You can also add a description such as quick ChatGPT style chatbot. After entering the name and the description, hit save. Now your agent has a name and a save. To confirm, you can return to the home screen and you will see your agent listed right there. Now let's head back to editing our agent by selecting edit. And now we're back in the design screen. Clicking on each node opens up specific settings on the right. And well, these settings give you a lot of options, but there's no need to be overwhelmed as you can get pretty far keeping the default settings for most. Now let's move to the settings of our LLM node, which is essentially the brain of our agent. Currently it's set to GPT 3.5, but let's switch to a different LLM. All right, uh, once you select a model, the label updates automatically. You can also rename this node to something like brain of my agent. Next, let's add a basic system prompt to guide our agent's responses. For now, we'll use a simple prompt, something like give concise, accurate answers. Make sure the user learns something from each response. We will explore more detailed prompt engineering in the next video, but this is a good starting point. The output node also has settings, but for this basic agent, where we don't need to adjust anything here, just ensure everything is saved by hitting the save button. All right, now it's time to test our agent. There are multiple ways to do this, but the simplest is by going to chat with agents and just start a basic conversation. So to do that, we will select our newly created agent and ask a question. Let's try something like, why is it so raining in Europe right now? And as you can see, the agent generates a response based on our prompt and our model settings. That's it, you've just created your first agent. We're just getting started though. In the next video, we will look at more options to chat with agents. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.